What if one of the darkest chapters of post-colonial history was forgotten? Today, we delve into the chilling narrative of the Razakar Massacre, a tale of violence and struggle that unfolded in the heart of the Indian subcontinent. As we turn back the pages to the mid-20th century, specifically the year 1947, India was a newly independent nation. Yet, it was a country divided, grappling with the blood-soaked aftermath of partition. Among the fragments of this shattered subcontinent was the princely state of Hyderabad, a melting pot of cultures, languages and religions. The Nizam of Hyderabad, the then ruler, desired to remain independent, a decision that didn't sit well with the Indian Union. This led to a power struggle, birthing the Razakas, a militant organization led by Kasim Razvi, a man known for his fiery speeches and radical views. The Razakas pledged their loyalty to the Nizam, determined to resist the integration of Hyderabad into India. As 1948 dawned, the Razakas' actions took a violent turn. They began to terrorize the local population, especially those who supported the integration with India. The Razakar's reign of terror included widespread looting, arson and the horrific massacre of innocent civilians. Their brutalities reached such a peak that it's said fear itself had a new synonym in Hyderabad, Razakar. However, the winds of change were blowing. The Indian government, under the leadership of then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, launched Operation Polo in September 1948. This military action aimed to integrate Hyderabad into India and put an end to the Razakar's reign of terror. After five days of intense warfare, Hyderabad officially became a part of India. The Razakas were disbanded and their leader, Kasim Razvi, was imprisoned. With this, the harrowing chapter of the Razakar massacre came to an end. To summarize, the Razakar massacre was a terrifying period in the history of post-colonial India. It began with the Nizam's desire for Hyderabad's independence, leading to the formation of the militant Razakars. Their reign of terror included widespread atrocities against the local population, culminating in a horrific massacre. The Indian government's Operation Polo put an end to this brutal chapter, integrating Hyderabad into India. This narrative serves as a stark reminder of the trials and tribulations that marked the birth of modern India. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the relentless pursuit of unity and justice. As we remember the Razakar massacre, we pay tribute to the countless lives lost and the heroes who fought against the tide of tyranny. So we leave you with this thought. History, with all its complexity and chaos, is a mirror to our past. It's a beacon that guides us towards a more compassionate and understanding future. Always remember the echoes of the past resonate in the present, shaping our tomorrow. And with that, we close the tale of the Razakar massacre, a chilling chapter from the annals of history etched forever in the heart of the Indian subcontinent.